how to make a personal portfolio with Google Sites. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can build a personal portfolio with Google Sites. And what exactly is Google Sites and how can you use it for a personal portfolio? And should you actually be using Google Sites or any other platform? We're gonna be answering all of these questions today. Now, what is Google Sites? Well, Google Sites is a tool that has been created by Google, which allows you to build your own website completely free. You don't have to purchase your domain. You don't have to purchase hosting. You don't have to do anything of that sort. All you need is a Google account and you can build a really nice website. However, there are certain limitations to this. First off, you have shopping limitations. You really can't build an e-commerce business with these types of websites. Then the second thing you can't really do is extreme customizations. This is a really beautiful website, but if I want to customize it further, include my own style elements or have super emphasized transitions or navigation bars that are going to pop up from a, with a you know 3d shape all of those advanced website features those you really can't do within google sites however you can do some other things so with google sites you can actually build amazing websites you can add your own domain if you already have a domain and you want to link that and do i recommend it for personal portfolios if you are someone that is not in an artistic field i.e. your website does not need to be advanced. If you're a graphic designer, then if your website is built on Google Sites, it's not going to give you a good look. It's not going to just look very um, detailed. However, if you're just a sketch artist, or if you are a psychologist, or if you are a clinician, if you are a beauty guru, if you're a makeup artist, photographer, all of those domains right now do need websites, and you can easily build a personal portfolio with Google Sites. It's non-technical, it's easy to use, and it's super intuitive. So let's get started. The first step is going to be to log on to your Google account and open up Google Sites. I'll show you guys how to do that. Just go into Google. You can type in Google Sites or just click on the top right. It says Google Applications. Then you're going to scroll down and you're going to find Google Sites over here somewhere. So you can just search for it as well. We're just going to do a quick search like this, and then this will open up Google Sites. And if you're logged on on your browser, this will automatically log you on to Google Sites as well. Now, from here, the next thing that you are going to be doing is you're going to be clicking on blank site if you want to get started from scratch. However, you can click on template gallery and they have a template available. So they have quite a few different templates available, which you can pick out from. We're going to open up a blank site so we can really customize this however we want. Once we do that on the top left, you are meant to enter your site name. Usually this is just going to be your um, uh, portfolio so because this is your portfolio unless you have a different business name this might just be under your own personal name then you're going to enter a page title i like to remove this and first build my header now for my header i don't like it to be unidimensional so i like to design this on canva and I like to incorporate multiple images. Let's say today we are building a portfolio for a makeup artist, okay? So I'm gonna choose the header type to be a large banner, and I'm just gonna go into Canva and search for banner. Once I go for banner, you guys can see several different banner sizes. I'm gonna take a look at the sizing on this one. It's 1000 by 500 mm. This landscape banner is going to be pretty normal. So we're just going to name this B1. Then I like to go ahead and upload my images. So whatever images you want to use in your portfolio, you can add those. I want to make this a bit of like a zigzag kind of image look. I'm going to go into elements and I'm going to search for frame and I can click on see all. So we have several different frames and I am just going to be using one of these frames like so. This is a bit too, too much. I want to go with something simple and I want a torn page frame. So page frame or paper frame. Yeah, this is what I want. And I just want to add or incorporate different images on the top and bottom which I'm going to be doing with this frame effect like this. 
I'm just going to add this over here and this one here. And now I'm just going to go back into elements and add my frame images like so. And I'm just going to expand the other one like this. Just do it like so. And I'm just going to do it like this. Once I've done that, I'm just going to click on share, download, download. This has a PNG. And now I'm going to go back into my Google Sites Portfolio Builder. And we are just going to click on image, click on upload, and then upload the image that we just created. And you can use Canva to just make a little bit of a stylized image for your portfolio on Google Sites. Once I've done that, I'm just going to drag and drop it over here if I want, or you can click on upload. If you want it as a full background, you're going to use the upload method. And just like that, we have this really amazing banner. Now from here, if I want to add text, I can directly pop in a text box, hold it, and then place it on top. And I'm going to add get your or makeup that feels like skin. And then I'm going to change the style to title. Then I'm going to change the font into a semi bold font. Maybe a I'm going to use a font like this maybe or this. And I'm going to reduce the size significantly. And then I can just place it however. From here, I can add more sections. So I can drag and drop a content block and add content within these blocks. Now, the first thing has been completed. So we've built our home page. It's basic. But now I want to build a separate page for my work. So I'm going to click on pages on the top right, click on new page, and I'm just going to type in skin, or let's say I want to just write my work and I want to click on done. Once I do that, this will open up the my work page. I'm going to click on this, click on header type and make it a title only one. And I can click on insert. And then from the right, I can click on image carousel. And I want to add multiple different images of maybe how I've done makeup in the past of my clients or whatever work you want to display you're obviously going to be adding that over here so you can open up your images and you can add them over here once completed you can click on settings on the top right to choose how you want your navigation to look like if you want it to be on the side which is a hamburg navigation or just directly on the top then you can control your logo favicon and connect a custom domain if you want once completed, click on publish on the top right. And just like that, you can publish your Google Sites personal portfolio for free. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and share them with any business partners that you might have. And if you find that there is something missing, I will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video